good evening everybody. Uh, welcome to another Rob Bean Plot uh, vlog. A little bit of a last minute one this one actually. Um, we've just come down to Adventure Island here in South End for its uh, Christmas Wonderland um, date. So the park's open till six. We've only got about an hour and a half done here so it's not going to be a massively long vlog this one but I thought I'd do a little like little Christmas updates of what's going on around the park. See some of the decorations they've put out. They've got um, some of the rides open down here. Not every single ride and attraction is open down here but it seems like a good few of them are, like Rage is open, Sky Drops open, I've seen uh, Axis down the other end of the side of the park open, so yeah, have a little look at the Christmas offerings they've got down here, show you some of the decorations they've done for the park, of course I uh, won't be doing the actual Christmas Wonderland like Santa's Grotto and stuff like that, but um, we'll show you the decorations and stuff around the park and Jimmy's doing a little bit of updating for you, so uh, join us along for the uh, Christmas vlog everyone. So the first ride we're going to do down here then is of course Rage, which is actually open in the, uh, the winter. Obviously a lot of theme parks do close all their rides for winter, but it's great to see they've got this one open down here. Doing a bit of a girl star ride in the winter, Thomas, how about that, eh? And the good thing about being in the winter is the queue ain't actually that long, so um, we'll see you when we come off Rage. See you in a few minutes, everyone. So I just come off a very, very uh, cold uh, ride on Rage. <laughs> it's definitely winter now, isn't it? Definitely very cold indeed. But still a good ride to get on in the winter though as well. And actually it's a night ride as well, so you can't complain really. Anyway, we're going to head over to uh, Sky Drop now because there's no queue for it. That's the one advantage of sort of coming in the week as well, is actually at the moment it's not that busy down here and it's a bit of a colder night. So it does make a bit of a nicer sort of uh, less queue. So we're going to give uh, Skydrop a, uh, a miss for the time being because um, the actual uh, ride system is having a bit of a problem. So basically on Skydrop they have to balance out the, um, the ride accordingly so that it's um, not off balance when it goes up in the air or it puts it out of sync. And basically the balancing system's not quite working at the moment probably so um, they couldn't get the cars to balance out. Um, so avoiding that ride for the time being, we're going to head down to the other side of the park and go and do some of the rides down there. So we we'll go on uh, Barnstormer, probably going to do um, Adventureville if it's open and uh, a few of the rides down that side of the park. And also going to see what's been happening with the developments around the, uh, the new area in the park where the go-karts used to be. Because I've heard some, uh, from some of my friends that there is actually uh, a new ride going in there pretty soon. So we'll go and investigate and see what's going on down that end of the park. See you on the other side of the park in a few seconds. I mean, that is one big Santa Claus. That is right there, look at that. <laughs> I mean, let's just do a size comparison. There's Thomas there, everyone. And then there's the Santa Claus. I mean, <laughs> it makes Thomas look tiny, that does. So yeah, guys, this has only just been put up in the last few days, but this is one of the new rides that has been um, built here down at Adventure Island. Uh, a new type of flat ride. Um, that should be opening, um, they haven't actually done an official opening date yet but I'm sure it's going to be opening pretty soon so it looks like it's sort of like being set up at the moment. Now I'm not the best on my flat rides as you can probably tell, I, I rarely go on the flat rides because I'm, I don't do as well on them as I do other rides so I'm not actually sure what type of flat ride that one actually is, I'm sure some of you will probably comment and say what it is so if, if you know what it is let me know because it's, it's, it's good knowledge for me to know about. Um, it does look very similar to uh, Vortex down at the other side of the park, so um, I'm guessing it's a similar sort of style of ride, but probably slightly different because uh, obviously they don't want two rides of the exact same in the area, so I'm guessing it's slightly different, but looks like a similar style of ride though, probably made by the same manufacturer I'm guessing. Anyway, we're down the other end of the park now, so we're going to take a couple of rides on um, Adventureville if it's open, Pharaoh's Fury. Mighty Mini Megas down here, and um, yeah, so a few rides to try out down this side of the park. So we'll vlog each one we go on. Uh, I say, so far it's pretty quiet down this night, though, so it's a good night for uh, for vlogging. Yeah, so some of the decorations they've got around the park are really nice down here. They've got like, these little Christmas trees all like scattered around the park, Christmas lights up everywhere, and obviously up at the other end of the park you have got the Christmas Wonderland as well. So there's like loads of little things around like the park that are just make it really nice and festive down here. 
Also, I haven't actually seen them in operation yet, but they have got quite a few like snow machines on like the towers around the um, the park as well. So obviously down the park, they've got all the festoon up on these like towers around the park. And a few of them have got snow machines on them as well. So I haven't seen them in operation yet, but I'm guessing on the busier nights, they probably actually use them more often because obviously it's not really busy down here tonight. So there wouldn't be much point in them actually operating them tonight. But who knows, on the busier nights probably will do. So we might see them in operation. Anyway, now I'm going to take a ride on Pharaoh's Fury, uh, the uh, twister ride that is down here in Adventure Island. It's a really good ride down here, actually, and the feeling on this ride is brilliant. I remember going on this ride when I was like sort of eight or nine, like when I first come down here, when I was like really, really young. I remember going on this ride. Are you ready for a ride on Ferro Fury? Ride on Ferro Fury. I love the lighting on it, although some of it doesn't work properly. A, a lot of it's very UV. You see where it says Ventry Island. <laughs> Are you making a lighting comment there, Thomas? I am indeed. Although Axis is looking very good at night. Just with Rob's head in the corner. Just a little bit of off-ride footage of Axis for you whilst uh, Rob's still riding Ferro Fury. That, that would throw me completely. Upside down I can do, but spinning, no, right, that's it. I'm done. So just got off a ride on um, Pharaoh's Fury. Definitely a lot faster than I remember the last time I went on it. They've definitely upped the speed on that since the last time I rode it. And you'll definitely see that by some of the off-ride shots that uh, Thomas just took a minute ago. Uh, <laughs> No, definitely faster than I remember last time. But no, it's still a good ride though, that ride. It's like, it's one, of the, it's one of the only actual flat rides that I do actually go on. I don't go on many of them. So like, that's my favorite one down here, definitely by far. Anyway, there's no two for any mega. So she's gonna ride on that. I think it'd be rude, I think it'd be rude not to. What's up? A little bit, yeah. It is well cold down here, so I will admit that. So if you are coming down here for winter, I definitely recommend a, um, sure. uh, a warm coat and Definitely not shorts because like Thomas wasn't that wise in that position at all really. So yeah, recommend a warm coat if you come down here, definitely. So yeah, just got the ride on uh, Mini Mega down here. Again, pretty cold up the top of the building again, but um, still good ride down here nonetheless. It's um, obviously it only ever runs one circuit that coaster does, but it is a nice, uh, quite a thrilling little coaster actually for a smaller coaster down here. Definitely worth one for the sort of like, families with the slightly older kids and stuff um obviously made by Pinfari that one and actually that one actually is I believe a, uh, a traveling module of that car which goes to, you can normally tell this by like the way that they have the um framework at the bottom of them so it is designed to be like touring although it never has done obviously because it's always been here at Adventure Island but um no good coaster on the next we actually we managed to get I say because there's no queues down here we managed to get quite a few rides um quite a few rides in actually tonight down here so not not too bad at all really uh anyway because i'm doing my favorite dark ride down here now we're going to head over to um adventureville and uh go and do that i'm not going to take you along for the ride this time because the amount of times i've taken you on this ride you're probably getting bored of seeing it now so for those who follow me on snapchat before and on youtube as well you've probably seen way too much of this ride so um i ain't going to video it this time i'm just going to enjoy the ride this time so we'll see you when we come off of adventureville so just come off a ride on Adventureville. Always enjoy that ride. I don't know why. It's one of them just really fun dark rides. Like it's not, it's not a scary ride at all or anything like that. So it's more of a fun ride. But no, really good indeed. I always, I always find it's really enjoyable. And if you've been on it before down here, it's just one of those really fun dark rides. I don't know why. I love it. Anyway, we've got about half an hour of park time left. Now we're going to head back up to the other side of the park, do a few more rides and attractions up that end, and then call it a night down here. But. It's been a really nice sort of little feel to come down here for like a you know, bit last minute, but it's radic sometimes, aren't we? You know, on the uh, in the world of vlogging, uh, the Christmas decorations have been really nice down here as well. I said they've got plenty of little decorations up, loads of lights, you know, Santa Claus around, loads of Christmas lights, and they've got the little Christmas train out again as well for for winter. No, there's like loads of little bits of things going on, and also like I say, quite a few changes happening down the park as well during the uh, closed period. So got a new ride, new flat ride opening very very soon to me. Looks like it's nearly ready to open by the looks of it as well so that should be coming 
in the next few weeks maybe we might even see it at the start of the new year you know obviously it all depends on where we are in the new year obviously we don't know what the uh restrictions are going to be like hopefully they won't shut the parks down because have got a lot of things planned for next year i'll say a little bit more about that at the end of the vlog so um keep watching guys some news coming out very shortly anyway gonna head down to the other side of the park do a few more rides and then wrap the vlog up for the night so just what Thomas is taking a second ride on a uh, rage down here in Metro Island. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit about like the sort of prices that you can expect down here for um, Christmas if you haven't actually been. Bearing in mind this is the sort of last week now that um, it's open. It's only open for a few more days down here. Um, obviously because obviously Christmas is coming up very shortly. Um, if you do want to do um, just the rides down here, if you are an annual pass holder obviously, then it is um, your standard annual pass is free entry to the park for annual pass holders. If you want to do um, the rides and the um, Santa's Grotto, it is a uh, £16, I believe, for um, annual pass holders to do that and the grottos. If you want to do non annual pass holders, it's £20 for uh, non annual pass holders to do the rides and the grottos. Um, and then of course if you just wanted to um, just do the Santa experience I believe it is £10 I think for non-annual pass a holder so it's not too badly priced for you to come down here and I say there's pretty much most of the rides are actually open there's only a selected few the only rides that I've seen tonight that haven't been open have been um, GD Coaster is currently down for winter maintenance Vortex is shut at the moment for winter maintenance and uh, so is um, uh, down there in the park as well at the moment there's a few rides down that end obviously um, whilst they're doing winter maintenance so um, obviously on and off rides are open and closing at the moment because it is winter and obviously they have to do winter maintenance so do keep an eye on the event trial and website for all the information on uh, what rides are open and closing at certain times and also they're opening hours as well as I believe after this week they are shutting for a bit more uh, winter maintenance and then we'll open again next year so yeah I say the Adventure Island website gives you all the information about like when the parks are opening and stuff and sometimes they do extend the hours so um, do always keep an eye out on it guys because I say it's, you know it's great to sort of uh, come down here sort of to have the Christmas park and see Santa as well if you're for the kids so it's great great day out really and I say we've only been down here for about an hour and a half but it's brilliant really so I do recommend it definitely I just saw there of, um, just how uh, quiet it is down at Ventrider tonight. Thomas just had a solo ride on Rage there, so like literally there is no queues down here this evening. It's a night, it is a bit of a cold night, I will admit, like I've been saying the whole video, like if you are coming down here for winter, I definitely recommend wrapping up in a coat and um, a woolly hat of some kind, because it is a bit chilly down here tonight. But no, it's not too bad nonetheless though, it's, it's cold, but like I say, as I say in all my vlogs, with um, the cold weather, we're British, so we don't mind it really sometimes, you know, we're used to the cold here. But no, it's not that busy at all down here, so I definitely recommend it if you've got the next few days to come down. i tell you what, if you are feeling a little bit uh, chilly down here, don't worry, they've got the nice toasty fire going. Keeps you nice and warm, that. Just gonna stand here for a few minutes, I think, to cool, uh, warm myself up a little bit. It is cold tonight down here, I tell you. Hey, it's one big snowman down there, <laughs> again. Everything's taller than Thomas here, like that, that's Thomas. Snowman, Thomas, Snowman. <laughs> Someone that's actually taller than you for once, Thomas. I never thought I'd see that in a million years. So we might just be able to fit two rides in potentially. We're gonna go on Spooksville because why not? And um, we might get one go on the Arcanon before the park starts. We've got about 15 minutes left. This ride takes about five minutes. So I think we'll probably just about be all right. We'll see you on the other side, guys. We're making a run for it. Thomas is running, so we will catch up with him. So yeah, just come off Spooksville down here at Venture Island. Again, I always enjoyed the Spooksville ride. Like I, like I say in every vlog, and you've probably heard me say that a million times, it's a shadow of its former self, but it's still a good ride down here for like the younger kids and stuff. I can understand why they did change it a little bit because obviously you've got to think it's sort of, sort of a family theme park down here, so they don't really want to go for that sort of terrifying, scary, dark ride. Uh, I mean, like the previous incarnations of the ride, when it was Beelzebub's Trail, it was a brilliant ride and that was really family orientated as well and obviously that that closed a long while ago now we're talking well over 12 years since that shut I and mean, that shut back in 2008 i think that shut down um, and then obviously you had over the hill for a short while and that was a really good dark ride and then obviously now you've got spooksville so 
I, I would like to see them re-theme it again in the future and sort of have a new ride, but um, you know, we never know. There's always changes down these parks all the time, so you never know what's going to happen. Anyway, Thomas is taking one last ride on uh, Arkenon this evening. Uh, that's going to be our last ride of the night because the park does shut in about the next five, ten minutes. So um, we'll see you Thomas after going to Arkenon. I'll get some off ride footage for you. And then I'm going to tell you, uh, end the vlog uh, in the next clip. I've got some information to tell you about what's going to be happening next year on my channel as well. So watch this space, guys. Watch this space. News coming up very shortly. So there you are, guys. We have left the park now. And that's our probably going to be our last park of the year. Because um, obviously with Christmas coming up and stuff like that, we've got busy times with ourselves. So we're not going to have to do any videos then. And also a lot of the theme parks have sort of shut for the end of the year now. So um, we'll have a little bit of a recap. So tell us, what have we done this year then? Cool. Well, this has been my first proper year of actually theme parking and coasters yeah and well, obviously as, as per rob dragged me on nemesis <laughs> back in back the, in what was that the, the end no the beginning of 2020 beginning of 2020 yeah i did that no beginning of 2021 earlier this year yeah and uh since then he's been he's been, he's, twice, he's been a right twice. coaster enthusiast now haven't you yeah. he's like he's become a right enthusiast in it and i say obviously at the start of this year the start of this year back in sort of January I was still working at Alton Towers as well so I was up there working whilst the rest of the country was on lockdown and no events could take place so I had to you know I say we had to find different jobs and stuff but I did enjoy my time there obviously I had a great life with what I worked with and I do miss it a little bit really but obviously like when the events came back he's going to go back at one point yeah probably will do at some point as well yeah but no obviously this year we've had um, in terms of videos and stuff obviously I started on Snapchat doing videos of Alton Towers, my trips to Drayton Manor, Blackpool Pleasure Beach, all those different parts we went to. And then obviously we went up there, um, Thomas joined us for Scarefest at Alton Towers. We did um, the uh, Halloween event at Blackpool. We did uh, Screen Park up there as well. Uh, came down to Adventure Island for their Halloween event. So had all those videos up. And then even I've been down here for fireworks as well. And Christmas as well, like, you know, been a lot of parks that we've been to um this year but uh good news is next year there should be a whole lot more because uh me and thomas have now got ourselves uh merlin annual passes and also adventure island passes as well so merlin annual passes is obviously meaning we can go to a lot more of the merlin attractions so things like you can do fort park a lot more chesington alton towers all the london attractions london eye london dungeons all those are things so next year on the channel there'll be a lot more videos coming up especially like uh, Blackpool, we're going to try and do a good few days up there rather than just like one day at Blackpool. We're going to do a lot more videos up that way. There's loads of things we haven't done really, and then uh, so we've got the annual passes now, so um, definitely gives us a lot more chances to do a lot more things um, at the theme parks and stuff. Also, uh, don't forget, speaking of annual passes, guys, don't forget you can actually get your annual passes for Adventure Island if you're local. At the moment, they are only 50 quid for an annual pass, and with tickets to the park being about 20 quid on their own now. You've only, got, pounds, you've only got to do two or three visits and you've pretty much paid for your annual pass. So if you are a regular visitor to the Rent Ride and are local, I definitely recommend it. And then if you are a Merlin, annual, Merlin Parks fan, like Fort Park, Chesington, whatever, or Alton Towers, all those parks, I highly recommend the annual pass as it definitely is a and good Christmas thing to have. Christmas deals are still on on the Merlin annual um, Yes, Yeah, passes. so Christmas deals are still available so you can get them a little bit cheaper at the moment. Do keep an eye out because I'm sure they'll have some after Christmas sales as well. They always do. So do keep an eye out for them as well. I say, anything I hear, stuff I will post about, obviously. But no, this will be the last video for this year, probably. And then hopefully next year, there'll be a lot more videos to come. So uh, do hope you enjoyed the video that I've done tonight and the videos that I've done throughout the year. And we'll be seeing you guys in the new year, hopefully. Say goodbye to us. Have a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. Have a good Christmas, everybody. We'll see you next yeah. time. Bye-bye. Let's run those outros.